A couple of nationally ranked teams square off on Saturday afternoon in college football as nationally ranked Illinois will travel to Eugene, Oregon to take on the number one Oregon Ducks. And that game is slated to kick off at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, I don't have the television listing on that, but I'm sure it's nationally televised, folks. Uh, Oregon right now a 21 and a half point favorite. The total in this game is 54 and a half. We're going to stay focused on the point spread, which is 21 and a half. Look, Oregon is four and zero straight up at home this year, but they're 0 and three as a home favorite against the spread. So not only they've won all four games, and you know they really weren't in jeopardy of losing any of those. Well, they I take that back. Uh, they barely got by Ohio State, 32-31, but they were an underdog in that game. And the one game that they they uh, were in jeopardy of losing as a home favorite came against nationally ranked Boise State early on. They won that game 37-34 to and didn't even come close to covering as an 18-and-a-half point favorite. So those two games against ranked opponents were games that were decided by three points or fewer and they're taking on another nationally ranked opponent in Illinois who comes in 5-1. and one, And their only defeat came at Penn State 21-7, to seven, a game in which the Illini covered as a 19-point road underdog. As a matter of fact, Illinois, despite their national ranking, um, they've been an underdog in four of their six games this year. They covered all four and, and also won three of the four straight up. Uh, the Illinois defense is a major reason why they've been so good this year as they're only allowing 18.1 points per game. And also keep in mind, this Illini defense has been great at creating turnovers. As a matter of fact, Illinois is plus seven turnover margin for the season this year. And that will keep you in and win you a lot of games when you're on the plus side of that turnover margin. Since last year, Illinois is also a perfect 5-0 and against the spread on the road versus opponents with a winning record, and they won three of those five contests straight up. So this is a team that um, not only has been good as an underdog this year, but they've also been good on the road against teams with a winning record since the start of last season. The Illini uh, does just enough in this game is what my prediction is on defense and just good enough on offense to stay inside this number. And the defense, I think, is good enough not to let this high-powered, uh, explosive Oregon offense to go crazy. And I am going to go for uh, Illinois to stay inside the number. And another key note here, folks, Oregon is just a plus-one turnover margin. I'm going to go out on a limb and say or, that Illinois will be uh, win the turnover battle, and that's going to be a key component and, uh, and their defense and keeping us inside the number here. I am going to go with the Illinois Illini, plus 21 and a half. Love that hook on a key number like 21 at Oregon on Saturday afternoon. Uh, folks, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please take a second to do so. Subscribe button right underneath. Click on that. 100% free. Uh, also, while you're at it, go into your YouTube settings and click on the alert notification bell for, you, for Wager Talk TV. And you'll be notified immediately upon our great content going up on our great channel. Also, uh, there's a like button. I would ask you kindly hit that like button. Just as a small token of your appreciation for the work that I do, I would appreciate that, folks. The folks over at Wager Talk TV, TV would appreciate it as well. And uh, it goes a long way in keeping these videos exactly what they are, free. All right, um, college football, folks. College fo football premium picks. Since December 2nd of 2022, how about 110 and 95? Good for 59.5% and a net profit of $8,456. And why I mention that? Because that money amount that I've made a net profit on is number one in that category at Wager Talk uh, during that course of time. College football and NFL, a combined 21 and 14 since September 28th. And that's despite having a terrible week last week in which uh, I had my first losing week in college football in five weeks and also had my first losing Sunday in the NFL over the last four Sundays. So it's going to be a bounce back this week and a big, and I'm showing you with these records 
that I am capable of winning over the long haul. And when you do that, that encompasses a lot of hot streaks and a few, very few uh, losing streaks as well. But I am a transparent guy. When I lose, I tell you, folks. All right, so my MBA right now, too, uh, $795 will get you a season pass. Why should you consider partaking in that venture? Well, because my college, my MBA sides, excuse me, uh, 105 and 66, that's good for 61% since April 11th of 2022. And that's good for a net profit over that course of time of $10,246. Folks, that's a lengthy amount of time. That's a high winning percentage and a high return on your investment. Um, and also my MBA overall since just April 23rd of this year, 2024, uh, 55 and 36, good for 61% uh, and a net profit of $5,455. So good reasons why you should invest in my MBA season pass, $795. Folks, uh, when you break that down, because this season pass goes right through the NBA finals and you take into account the amount of days that that covers and divide that by the 795, your per day uh, cost is extremely cheap. I want to say less than $4 a day, but I'm just speaking off the top of my head. It might even be better than that. It might be right around it. And if it's over it, it's by very little. Okay, $7.95 NBA season pass. Also, college football season pass at a discounted rate right now. Uh, take advantage of that offer. See all our great special offers at Wager Talk TV by just hitting that special offers icon at the top of the page. And also, uh, I would ask you kindly visit my personal link, wt.buzz/rb, and you will find all my streaks, what I've been very good at in recent times, and also all my subscription plans and daily packages that are posted over for myself at Wager Talk. Until the next time, take care and God bless, folks.